This video is part one of a series of Hawkeye videos. In part one we introduced the features of the SPL Hawkeye Audio Analyzer. In the following parts we will discuss each measuring instrument separately in depth. Hawkeye shows five instruments in the main window. There is the level meter with true peak and RMS metering for left and right as well as mid and side. And the loudness meter showing all relevant loudness measurements and ratios as bars or as a timeline. There is the bit monitor displaying the usage of bits and shows the DC offset. Followed by the vector scope displaying the correlation and balance between left and right channels. And finally there is the spectrum analyzer that has four views. The FFT fast Fourier transformation showing frequency versus amplitude. The spectrogram which shows a waterfall of frequency versus amplitude. The panorama and phase window which is a more detailed view of the vector scope. And finally the one third octave real time analyzer. The main window can be rescaled by dragging the handle in the lower right corner. The size of the instrument can be varied by moving the bar between two instruments. You can double click on the instrument to undock it from the main window. You can then grab any side of the instrument window and scale it to your needs. Use the minimize maximize button over here to save screen real estate by minimizing the control panel. To move an instrument back into the main window simply double click on the instrument or on the placeholder in the main window. In the control panel as well as in each instrument there are two buttons labeled R meaning reset and F meaning freeze. Clicking on R in the control panel resets all measurements while clicking on R on an instrument only resets this instrument. Same thing for freeze. Clicking on F in the control panel freezes all measurements while clicking on F in an instrument only freezes this instrument. When looking at this much information, it is mandatory to see what you need to see as fast and as easy as possible. In order to achieve this, we refrained from designing a fancy 3D GUI. Instead, we followed aviation industry guidelines from Boeing and Airbus for designing cockpit instruments that deal with a similar density of information in a single window. Presenting all information uncluttered not only helps focusing but also minimizes eye strain over extended periods of use. However, in the beginning it is vital to learn and to understand the measuring instruments and their functions. And we know that measuring is somewhat dry and that's why we introduced the label button in the top row of the control panel to assist you. While you get to know Hawkeye, leave L and gauge to see the labels of scales and value boxes. Additionally, when hovering above buttons, a pop-up will appear explaining its function in detail. Once you've used Hawkeye for a while, you will no longer need these labels and pop-ups and you may deactivate L for the most uncluttered view. Nonetheless, it is most convenient to have all this information at hand with a fast click on a button without having to refer to the manual. Speaking of which, the manual is not far away. Click on the question mark in the lower right corner and select open manual in the pop-up. It is well spent time to digest this manual to draw the correct conclusions from the presented measurements and thereby improve your recordings and masterings. In the control panel there is a solo section with four radio buttons. Clicking on left selects the left channel for all measurements and obviously clicking on right selects the right channel. And the same applies for mid and side. Alright, that's it for part one. If you want to get more specific information on individual measuring instruments, watch the following videos of this series. Have fun and bye bye.